Meet Sally Morgan, who claims to have a talent that's out of this world. I've seen stuff that would shock a lot of people. She says she can deliver messages from beyond the grave. Debbie! <gasps> Sally's fame as a psychic medium has not only attracted the living... That was like, whoa! I'm still in shock now. ...and the dead. Oh, my God, he's still in here. But the stars are dying to meet her, too. Did you feel my vibes, then? I did. I'm getting them. Like, it's electric. <laughs> Now she's on the biggest nationwide tour of her career. And we'll be there on the road. Well, I never took the wrong turning. Backstage. And if her incredible claims are true. Val! Oh my god. We'll be there as she ventures into the spirit world. Come to my show and you are gonna see things said to people that that literally gonna knock you off your feet. <laughs> Sally Morgan is a mum, a grandma, and happens to be one of Britain's best-loved psychics. <laughs> she claims to be able to deliver messages from the dead... It's Shanann! ..to the living. Something is going on that, without a doubt, is not of this world. Have you got all my bangles? Oh, <laughs> yes! Who's Joyce? <laughs> That's Joyce. <laughs> As I handed her the photo to see that, I mean, you can't just pull that out of the air. Her books are bestsellers, and her reputation always precedes her. We're very excited. Feeling excited. Yes. Can't wait. Because we know how good she is. Now she's on a gruelling live tour, performing to packed out theatres across the country. He still wants to touch you. You almost did. <laughs> Why am I looking at horses in a field? They're behind our bungalow. That's it. The nature of the beast is that as many people as possible need to feel as if they get validation for the afterlife. And it's spooky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I drive? Sally always travels with husband and manager, John. And today, they're heading to Kings Lynn, a port town in Norfolk. While the crew set up for the show, Sally and John have time to relax together. What's that? That's a, that's a coffee place. They've been together for 37 years, but without help from a friend, Cupid may not have worked his magic. Sally had put a Valentine's card through the door with a telephone number saying, you know, let's go out for a drink, and I binned it. So my friend picked the card up, picked the phone up, and then called me in to the room, and he said, I've got someone on the phone who wants to speak to you. When I realised it was Sally, I was too embarrassed, too shy to say, I'm not taking you out for a drink, so I went along with it. I knew that I was going to marry him from the moment I met him. It was really quite scary. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're not at all touchy-feely, are you, John? No. Although he can be passionate, he's distant and he's pull away and don't hold my hand. I love a bit of romance and he's not at all romantic. Oh, Shabby and loving it. So lovely, darling. Okay. But you wore it once and you have shrunk it already. Who has? You have. With the tea break over, the happy couple get back to work. And the pre show ritual begins. Makeup? How many is in? Uh, just over 500. As the guests arrive, expectations run high because it's not just Sally they're here for. This is the first time I've been to a psychic show, so I'm hoping that maybe some family relatives and that will come through tonight. I want my mum to come through. She died four years ago. I've come along hoping for two or three members of my family that have passed on to get in touch. Hello, everyone. Because I'm aware that such random <laughs> stuff can come out of my mouth, and because every audience is so different, it's almost as if, what's going to happen tonight? I've got a girl here, you know, Carl. Carly, or... Put your hand up, darling. Um, can I say, oh, you're there. Hello, you've got a lovely bright top and I can see you. Young girl. Carly. 
in spirit. Yeah. As soon as she said Carl, I knew that that was for me. As soon as she said there was a girl, I just had this feeling that that was for me. Lou? Yeah. Oh, God, this is for you. Lou, I'm Louise. Um, everyone calls me Lou. Was there a blow to the back of her head, do you know? Oh, darling. Darling. <sighs> she died four years ago now, like in a car accident, and yeah, we were really close, ever so close, more like sisters than friends. But I'm, I've also got, like, this real burning here in my throat. Do you understand that? Mm. What did they do here? Was this a tracheotomy? Yeah, she had a... Hole in her throat. Mm. When she was in hospital, she had, like, a tube in her throat and, you know, to help her, help her breathe while they were breathing for her. This is her, a confused... It, you know, like a patchwork quilt? And, like I said, I don't interpret. It's really literal, but it's like she said, it's little pieces of it, patches of it. Was she... Did you cover her? Was she covered in a, in a patchwork blanket? I'm not sure. She mentioned oh, um, a patch, patchwork quilt, and that was only afterwards as well that I thought, oh, she had a patchwork quilt on her bed, and that is what she had. So, But like I said, when I was asked, I, I couldn't think of it at the, at the moment on, on the spot. You'll hear this girl. That's what's going to be her sign. Not a smell, not seeing, you will hear something in the hallway near the front door. She's not scared any longer. I'm not scared, she says. I tried. I tried to get away. What's she talking about? She's in a car. Oh, I don't believe it. Listen, let's thank this lovely lady. Thank you very much, darling. I never dreamt that she would come through. I don't... She just, I just didn't think that I thought I would come here and nothing would be said, you know, and then it has, and that's just... Oh, it's <laughs> crazy emotions. <laughs> Coming up, Sally pays a visit to an old friend. There would, there's, still, there's still a presence here. And the one-on-one -on -one reading leaves a lasting impression. Not for all the tea in China, would I have given that up, experience up for nothing? I really wouldn't have.